In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to set up the Open Stim Board using an Android device with Bluetooth Low Energy. So here's the Open Stim Board already plugged into a 9 volt battery. As you can see, the LEDs on the Arduino indicate power. If you need to power it, just plug in that battery plug connector, okay? We're going to leave that open for now because those LEDs are actually very useful for debugging. I'm here on my Android phone starting an app called BLE Scanner, Bluetooth Low Energy Scanner. This is something that I got from the Google Play Store. As you can see, it scans the surroundings and it finds a board called OpenEMS3. You can actually tap and say connect. And look at that. There's a blue LED on the board that just light up. If I say disconnect, that blue LED goes off. So the connection between the board and our Android device is verified and it works. Now the next step is to open the EMS Stim Control app. So as you can see here, it says some different string for the device indicator. We have to change that. So now we know that our device is called Open EMS 3. We're just going to type that. So I'm going to type Open EMS 3. Now I can actually click on the toggle and look at that turn blue. That it means that everything is connected and it actually works. So if I tap on the channel buttons, that opens the EMS channels and that's actually working. You can see that on the board there's matching colors. So if I type on the right channel, it turns to red and there's a red LED for that. If I tap on the other side on the green, there's also a green LED for that. So everything is working. By the way, these are the intensity sliders and for now you just want to keep them maximized at 100%. So that's great. Everything is working right now with our board and we can actually disconnect it and leave it like that for now. So now we have to set up the open stem board with the off-the-shelf muscle stimulator. If you don't know how to use this thing, please refer to another video that we have that shows you how to use that. So for now, we're going to keep the frequency at 70 hertz if your stimulator allows you to check that. And we're going to connect a cable to that. Um, this connects to the open stem board and has obviously two channels. So I'm connecting the right channel and make sure those plugs fit nicely and are not loose. If they're very loose, just use some tool to actually put them in. Um, so I have two channels connected and I want to connect those two channels to the open stem board. And that connector is going to go into the rightmost inlet of the open stem board. By the way, if you want now, you can actually close the lid. I've connected it and we have connection from muscle stimulator to open stem board. Now on the leftmost channel, we have to connect the electrodes. I have here four pads. That means two channels. Okay, four pads is two channels, and I want to connect those to the open stem board. And those are going to receive the impulses from the muscle stimulator. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab two pads, and I'm going to put them here on my palm flexor. That's this muscle here that I'm showing you. The first electrode goes to the base of the muscle. That's here. And just a few fingers away, about three to four fingers away, I'm going to put the other one. By the way, make sure your cables are not tangling like what's happening to me right now. So just make sure everything is kind of easy access and actually they spread out nicely. So one electrode on the base of the muscle of the palm flexor and just two or three fingers away, slightly more upwards, you're going to place the second electrode. Okay, so that's the muscle that moves the palm inwards actually moves the wrist, but also moves that finger muscle there. And on the other side of your hand, we're going to place on the palm extensor muscle two more pads. That's one more EMS channel. And that's the muscle that moves my palm upwards. So base of the muscle is there and three fingers away. You place the other electrode. Make sure two cables are going to the same channel. Don't wire them up wrong. And that goes into the leftmost inlet of the open stem board. That's the inlet closest to the Bluetooth chip if you open the board to check it out. So now we have everything connected. My arms are connected. And now I can reconnect the open stem board to the Bluetooth. 
and now I have two channels and two channels also mapped on the other one. I have the EMS device off for now, but now I'm going to turn the first channel on. So I'm going to turn the rightmost channel on and I make sure the intensity slider is on maximum because you're trying to calibrate what is a maximum pain-free and comfortable setting for you. So you want to have that maximized. I open the EMS channel and I very gently milliamp by milliamp. I rotate the dial the least possible I can and I just tap opening that channel. I don't feel anything yet. Just a little bit more. I don't feel anything yet. I'm starting to feel a bit of a tingling sensation. So I know if I put just a little bit more, we'll reach some muscle tissue and elicit sufficient motor neurons to actually do a contraction on that finger. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. And you see my finger move just a tiny bit. A little bit more, a bit more motion, a little bit more. There we go, almost one finger curl. There we go. So I have finger contraction at this value. But I can continue exploring and a little bit more I have the full palm contraction. So that's like fingers and also the palm flexor. Okay, so I can also play with the dial now, the intensity, and I can reduce that intensity just a little bit. And maybe at something like 80%, still too powerful. I just keep on going lower and lower. And there we go. At this intensity, I have only slightly finger contraction. but at maximum intensity, I have the full hand contraction. So this is something you can try here and then you can pour it into your application and you know which values kind of work for you. All right, now we're gonna do the same for the other channel. Okay, so I'm gently opening the channel, the EMS channel. And I'm opening the EMS channel on the left and I feel nothing. I'm putting one milliamp more, I feel nothing. Another milliamp and so forth. I just do it as slow as possible. And at some point, you know, I'm going to feel a tingling sensation as the electricity passes through my skin receptors. That's just normal. I'm opening the channel, putting one more milliamp. Very slowly, do this very slowly if it's your first time. Even if it's not your first time, just keep on doing that. I actually feel the tingling already, but it's not sufficient to move my hand. I keep on feeling tingling, but no muscle motion. That's also normal on the palm extensor because this part of the skin is a bit thicker and actually has hair in my case which means that I will feel more tingling for a longer period of time and the contraction comes later. So I just keep on putting milliamp by milliamp. Feel that tingling. I feel that the muscle is almost moving. Feel it now. Okay, it's moving slightly. Needs a little bit more. There we have. That's a small contraction. That's a bit bigger. I can still put more. I'm still comfortable. It's totally pain-free at this point. There we go, that's a nice contraction. I can put just one more milliamp to be faster. There we go, that's pretty fast now. All right, that feels great. Again, I can play with the intensity. So I'm reducing the intensity to find like a smaller value that still works. And you can imagine if you're playing a game or creating a virtual experience, this could be like a slight touch and the other one is like a stronger sensation. So that's all set up. I'm just turning it off. This is how you use it to turn off just Bluetooth off, cables out. If you actually want to power it off and save some battery, that's simple. Just take the plug away and you can actually keep it nice and tucked between the Arduino and the base plate over there of the battery. Take the EMS pads away and place them on the right side of the plastic pad. There's a right side and a wrong side. It's identified there usually. And by placing them on the right side, they will actually stay stickier for longer and they'll keep fresher.